Now to North Korea, a nation that has nuclear weapons and is tonight threatening to use them against the United States, vowing to attack Washington and engulf the nation's capital, quote, in a sea of flames. As you can imagine, this outburst has prompted a strong response from the White House. Our chief foreign affairs correspondent, Andrea Mitchell, monitoring developments from our D.C. newsroom. Andrea, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Tonight, the White House says the United States can defend itself against a North Korean missile attack, even as Pyongyang ratchets up its threats against the U.S. It was North Korea's toughest threat yet, announced on state TV. Since the United States is about to ignite a nuclear war, we will be exercising our right to preemptive nuclear attack. A recent government video shows a North Korean missile blowing up Manhattan. Pyongyang defied the world with a nuclear test last month and a missile test in December. But experts say the regime has not proved it can put a nuclear warhead on a missile that could reach the U.S. And all this may be backfiring. Today, China, North Korea's closest ally, voted with the U.S. for the toughest economic sanctions yet, hitting Kim Jong-un and his generals where it hurts. Luxury products like yachts, racing cars and jewelry. One of the important provisions of this resolution today was to make clear that a, a wide range of luxury goods, and including some very specific luxury goods, aren't going to be able to be imported for the leadership of North Korea, which is living large while starving its people. Kim's love of Western products and sports was proved again only last week by his bizarre embrace of Dennis Rodman. Despite Pyongyang's newest threat, today the U.S. and South Korea continued scheduled training exercises in South Korea. While officials say the U.S. is well defended against missile attacks, South Korea and Japan are increasingly worried about their belligerent neighbor. This 28-year-old leader is either trying to embolden himself with the uh, military that run uh, the operations of North Korea, uh, or, or the other way around, the military is exerting force over this young 28-year-old leader, uh, and their saber-rattling is serious and, sh and we should take it serious. U.S. officials don't deny that the White House sent secret envoys to North Korea last year to test whether the new young leader wanted a better relationship with Washington. Now they have their answer, and it is not good. Brian? Andrea Mitchell in Washington for us tonight. Andrea, thanks.